I think Once Upon a Time in America is one of the most beautiful films to look at, probably the most beautifully shot film of the 60 or 70 I've done that I've ever been in. It's exquisite. Every shot, to me, is a painting. Even the poster is a painting. It's gorgeous with the little boys with the bridge behind them. But Sergio was very quiet, and Tonino did all the screaming, and Tonino would scream in Italian, and Sergio would go, yeah, yes, let's do it again. And we, when, it, when he wasn't getting it, he would just, like most European directors, they wait you out. They don't direct you. They just wait until you get tired of acting, and you start behaving naturally, and they start getting the performance they want. Will you crawl back and tell them we don't want you in with us? Our fight's got nothing to do with liquor and prostitution and dope. What was really exciting was we shot um, the old New York stuff in Canada, in Montreal, with a section of Montreal that's spectacularly beautiful and old. Then we went over and did the interiors at Cinecittà, which was the great studio in Italy, where all the great big Italian films had been, had been done. For me, just starting out, I think it was like my fourth or fifth film, it was really exciting to be living in Rome and staying in a hotel and being driven out to this this studio, which was the, really the history of Italian film. Uh, I had been up rather late <laughs> one night, and there's a scene in the film where I'm in the hospital, I've been shot, and, and so we were, they had me in the bed, and we're all working, and I'm lying in the bed, and we were talking, and then all of a sudden I feel somebody's arm on my shoulder, you know, shaking my shoulder, shaking my shoulder, and I look up, and, and it's Bob De Niro saying, hey, I go, hey, what's up? He goes, you want to say your line? We rolled and we're shooting and, and you're, you were asleep, so you want to join us? I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. So I had fallen asleep in the midst of the scene, but I attribute that to an actor who has extraordinary relaxation um, abilities. One of the other stories I will tell you is this. In one scene, Richie Bright is the actor uh, and he sprays me with gasoline. I'm tied in a bin in a horrible place. And then he starts asking me questions and he's lighting matches. But what I didn't realize was, and I said, why don't you put um, seltzer water in it so I get an uncomfortable feeling when it goes on my face and up my nose. But then I realized that the hose that they were using had recently held a lot of gasoline. I got very nervous when Richie was lighting the matches because I thought there's so much gas in this stuff that this thing could light up. So I was like, don't throw the matches on me just in case. It's funny because people say, what are your favorite films? And although I play a small role in it, it's always one of the top three I mentioned, films that I'm proud to have been a part of.